Hello everyone, I am Arbit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can add contact form 7 details to your Go High Level CRM account as lead details. Now, Go High Level CRM is a customer relationship management software service which will let you you know contact your existing customers as well as new customers and old customers and maintain good relationship with them now when a new form submission is done a new lead will be created in your go high level crm account now what are we going to do as i said first we are going to do a form submission in contact form 7 and then those details will be shared as lead to your high level account and will be saved into your high level account now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect will help you to connect your contact form 7 and your high level account together. Now, you want to know how to do that? For that, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are now at our screen. Now, what you have to do, it's uh, very simple. You have to go to the address bar and type in pabblypabli.com slash connect. And as soon as you will do that, you can see we will be redirected to this page. Here, you have two options. First one is sign in, second one is sign up. Now signing up is absolutely free. If you are not a member here, you can just go for free sign up. And we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. Okay, now I already have an account, so I will go for sign in. I log in here. And as soon as, as I do that, I'll click on access now below Pabli Connect. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new workflow by going here, creating uh, create workflow tab. And I'll enter the workflow name. Contact. Form 7. Contact form 7 to we are connecting our contact form 7 to go high level CRM. So I am going to <coughs> write this integration. Go high level. Okay, cool. So this is the integration which I am going to teach you here. So I am just creating it. You can name it whatever you want to do. Now as soon as you will do that, you can see we have two windows here. First one is trigger. Second one is action. Trigger is an event which is happening at the start of the process. And action is the final, you know, part of that process. Now trigger here will be whenever a contact 7 form submission will be made, the action part will be a new contact will be created in the high level CRM. Okay. Now we will go here and we will search for contact form seven. Oh, so, okay. I'm really sorry. We are not going to search for contact form seven because contact form seven is a plugin which is used in WordPress. So what we are going to do for that, we are instead going to use webhooks directly. You can see here, I have the option of webhook. So I will just, you know, I can connect contact form seven by clicking on this uh, webhook URL and then directly connecting it to, to contact form seven because it is a WordPress plugin. So we have to go to the WordPress to see how it's done. So this is my WordPress. Now what you can do if you have contact form 7 which will be shown here you can see contact forms if you do not have contact form 7 you can just go to plugins okay add new plugin and when you will do that you can search for contact form 7 here you can see contact form 7 and it is showing as active if you you know, you won't be having this. It will show as install now. So you can install it. Now I'm directly going to the contact forms here. And now what I want to do is I can either add a new contact form by going here and clicking on add new or I can use, you know, uh, previous contact forms which I have already created. So if you want to create a new contact form, you can go to add new. And like this, 
you can just create a contact form. I have this here, your name, your email, subject, your message, whatever you want to put. Either you can put, uh, you know, phone number also, you can put other description fields also, whatever you want to put, it, uh, put in it, you can do that. I am not going to do that because I already have my contact form here. So let me show you. This one is my contact form. I have already created it. And this is the name of my contact form. If you want to rename it, you can rename it and then save it. Okay. So this is my contact form. I have first name, last name and email in my contact form seven. Now what I'm going to do is <coughs> if you want to put this contact form in a particular page, you just have to copy this code here. Okay. Save this. And now to whatever page you want to add this contact form to, you can go to that page. If you already have some pages here, that is very good on your website. If you do not have, you can just go for add new page. So as soon as you will click on add new page, a new page box will appear in front of you. And here you can give the title to page and here you can just paste in the contact form link like this. So as soon as you will do that and publish it, the contact form which you have been using for your data will be, you know, inserted into this page, this new page. Now I already have some pages here. So I am not going to create a new page. I am just going to put it in any page. Now let me see. Okay, so this is ABC contact form. So ABC contact form is my page name. I can. Okay, it has been I'm really sorry, uh, an element or form has already been added to this. So I'm just going back. And let us uh, create a new page because I don't know where they must have been you know, putting forms and where they must have not been putting forms. So I'll just create a new page for you all. I'll just go on add new and let us create a new page contact form seven to go high level data. Okay. And now I'm going to paste my form link here. So this is the form link which I have already pasted here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and save this page. First, let me review this. How does it look? <coughs> okay. So this is how it will look contact form save, uh, seven to go high level data first name last name and your email. Okay, so I'm just going to publish it. And I do not want anything right now to do with any other, uh, you know, any other page or any other data. Now, our first part is to connect our contact form to our Pebbly connect. So how we are going to do that? As I told you, we are going to use this webhook. So we are going to copy this. Okay. Now it is waiting for the webhook response. I'll just copy that. And after that, I will go for settings. Okay. Here are the settings. And after going to settings, we have to go to WP webhooks. Okay. After going to WP webhooks, we are going to We are going to, okay, wait a minute. Am I in the wrong part? Settings. WP webhooks. Okay, so I clicked on uh, another option by mistake. So this is the WP webhooks. Now what we have to do, we have to go to send data. And after going to send data, we have to search for contact form seven. So WordPress, 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 learn dash contact form seven. So you can see we have contact form seven here. I'll just click on contact form seven. And
you can see here we have an option contact form 7 form submitted now here what we are going to do we are going to add a new webhook url and that webhook url will be this we uh, will be this which we have just copied from here so we will just go here add webhook url now i have to name this so i'll just name it contact form 7 to go high level Go high level, okay? Now this is the webhook URL. I'll just paste this and add for CR, sorry, not CR, <laughs> CF7 forms. <laughs> I was about to say CR7. That would be Cristiano Ronaldo 7. So I have successfully added my webhook URL right here and uh, integrated my contact form 7 to my Pebbly Connect. Now it is uh, waiting for the webhook response. Now what we are going to do, we are going to go back to, uh, you know, our WordPress and now we are going to go to appearance so where is appearance okay so this is appearance now here what you have to go uh, what you have to do first you have to go to appearance and after that from appearance you are going to select menus now after going to menus let it go to menus what we have to do is we have to select the form which we just made which is this one contact form 7 to go high level and we have to put it here in our website or I should say in our page where our uh, you know contact form 7 to go high level form will be shown and that page will be shown to uh, shown in our website. So I'll just click it and I'll just click on add to menu and as soon as I will do that you can see here my contact form 7 to go high level data is added to the page okay now you can add it to any page wherever you want to add it it's your uh, wish where you want to add it and then you can also uh, you know choose the display location where you want to display your contact form or uh, at the primary menu secondary menu or you know you have uh, many other options so what we are going to do we are just going to save the menu here And you can see the menu is being saved and as soon as it's done, we are just going to go to our website. Okay. So we have successfully added our page contact form 7 to go high level page to our website and in this page we have the form in which we are going to put our data okay so what we are going to do now we are going to visit our website visit site and here you can see uh, all the pages of this website and this is our page no this is not our page this is our page contact form 7 to go high level data just click on this and as soon as you will click on this, you can see contact form 7 to go high level data uh, form is right here. Now what I'm going to do, <coughs> I am going to create a new entry here. Arpit Sharma and my email address. Okay, the social fever 2020 at the gmail.com. Now as soon as I will submit this, you will see a webhook response will be received here in our Pebbly Connect account. It is taking some time, it happens. So you can see it has been submitted. And here we have the response where I have my name, last name and email. And as I told you, if you want to add something else to your form, you can do that. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to create a new contact in our Go High Level CRM. So what we are going to do, we are going to select High Level. Action event will be create contact because we are creating a new contact. Now I'll just connect. Either I can, uh, you know, select an existing connection if I have been using it uh, previously but I am not so I will just add a new connection now 
इट इज आस्किंग यू फॉर द टोकन की लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ लोकेशन और इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ यूजर यू विल नीड टू पुट द एजेंसी ए पी आई की ओके इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनी ऑफ दीज वट यू आर गोइंग टू डू यू हैव टू टेक द की फ्रॉम दिस हाई फ्रॉम योर हाई लेवल अकाउंट बेसिकली सो instructions have been given here clearly what you have to do now what i will do i want this key so i will just go to my account in high level now let me show you how it's done now if we want this key so what we are going to do first we will go to our high level account then we will go to settings then company then api key so here we will search for settings this is settings now this is api keys now here you can see the uh, api keys we have now let me explain you what i was talking about if you want to create a location or create a user you will use the api keys from these two options okay and because these are the agency api keys if you want to create anything else or if you want to use any other action we are going to use these api keys now <clears throat> what uh, are these api keys these are the api keys from the different accounts which we have on our high level uh, application so if you want to create a new contact in arya business you have to use this api key if you want to create a new contact in arya associates you have to use this api key and same goes for other accounts as well so what we are going to do let me just go for pebbly connect because we are using pebbly connect right now so i will copy the api key of pebbly connect this one so i'll just copy it i'll go here and i'll paste the token here now i will just save it and you can see as soon as i'll save it we will have the option of first name last name full name email phone number address so we do not have all of these things we have only this because we only used uh, these fields in our form now what i am going to do is i am going to use a technique called mapping right here so mapping will let us take this data here and put it in these fields we do not have to copy paste anything and we do not have to you know manually type in anything so i'll just go for first name i'll map my first name which was arpit then i'll map my last name which was sharma then i'll map my full name which is arpit sharma now i'll go for email so email is the social fever 2020 at the rate gmail.com now if i would have been putting my phone number address city country and state fields in my contact form 7 i could have mapped them too but i am not using that so i'll just go here at the end and i will just save and send test request now as soon as i will do that you can see i have a response with the name contact id and this is my contact id and the lead generation contact or should i say the lead which has been generated from my contact form 7 has been added to the high level contact list now let me go back here and now <clears throat> these are your accounts we were doing it for pebbly connect so i will just go here and choose pebbly connect this is my pebbly connect <clears throat> now what i am going to do this is my this is my pebbly connect account i'll just go for contacts and contacts smart lists so you can see a new contact has been added here arpit sharma email the social fever at the rate gmail.com and created at you have the date also now let us try it one more time now let me give it first name sonam last name is rai and her email is sonam at the rate gmail dot com. So sonam at the rate gmail dot com is the email. Now I am going to submit this. 
and as soon as I will submit this, it will take the response and then automatically create a contact with this name and email in my high level CRM. So I think it's done. We will go back here. Now you can see this is my uh, contact. I'll just refresh it. And uh, you can see some dots here. They are looking pretty. And as soon as I do that, you can see Sonam Rai here, sonam at the rate gmail.com, February 2, 2022. So this is how you can integrate your high level CRM to your uh, contact form 7. And I hope you have understood this beautiful workflow. And if you want to use this very important workflow in your account, you can just go to my description box and clone it. But for that, you have to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and you will get 100 free tasks every month from our side. So what are you waiting for? Go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. Take care. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. If you want any other event to be added in our module, you can just mail at admin at the rate pebbly .com. Apart from that, if you have any queries, you can just go on to this forum and ask about your queries. And if you want to check the pricing of the software, you can go on here and check the pricing of the software. I hope you understood everything and you loved every bit of our video. So keep loving, keep subscribing. Thank you.